Good morning. Uh, today we will start with the new subject that is your thermodynamics. We will start with chapter 1 that is introduction and basic concepts. So what is thermodynamics? Every science has a unique vocabulary associated with it and thermodynamics is no exception. Precise definition of basic concepts form the sound foundation for the development of a science and prevents possible misunderstandings. We start this chapter with an overview of thermodynamics and the unit systems and continue with the discussion of some basic concepts such as system, state, state postulate, equilibrium and process. We also discuss temperature and temperature scales with particular emphasis on international temperature scale of 1990. We then pressure, present pressure which is normal force exerted by a fluid per unit area and discuss absolute and gauge pressure also. The variation of pressure with depth, how your pressure will increase when you go deep inside the ocean or you can say how pressure will change in the atmosphere at high altitude to the sea level and pressure measurement devices such as manometers and barometers. Careful study of these concepts is essential for a good understanding of the topics in the following chapters. Finally, we present an intuitive systematic problem solving technique that can be used as a model in solving engineering problems. So the basic objective of this uh, study is to identify the unique vocabulary associated with thermodynamics through the precise definition of basic concepts to form a sound foundation for the development of principle of thermodynamics, review of metric SI and English unit systems, explanation of system, state, postulate, equilibrium and process and what is cycle. Cycles are important from uh, we had already discussed an internal combustion engine and uh, you will go through these cycles in the gas turbine and power plant engineering also. Review concepts of temperature, temperature scales, pressure and absolute gauge pressure. Uh, we will start with topic thermodynamics and energy. Thermodynamics can be defined as the science of energy. Although every body has a feeling of what energy is, it is difficult to give a precise definition for it. Energy can be viewed as the ability to cause changes. So we came across uh, day to day life where we see uh, different bodies have different types of energy like suppose a moving car has a kinetic energy and uh, water in your storage tank at a high altitude has potential energy. The name thermodynamics stems from the Greek words therm which means heat and dynamics which means power which is most descriptive of early efforts to convert heat into power. Today the same name is broadly interpreted to include all aspects of energy and energy transformations including power generation, refrigeration and relationships among the properties of matter. One of most fundamental laws of nature is conservation of energy principle. It means energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It is converted from one form of energy to another form. It simply states that during an interaction Energy can change from one form to another, but the total amount of energy remains constant. That is, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. A rock falling off a cliff, for example, you can see here in this example, this is your mountain and this is a rock and it is having potential energy of, P is your potential energy, it is 10 units. While it is having zero velocity, so its kinetic energy is zero. So when this rock will start to fall, what will happen? As it goes down, its potential energy will decrease which depends on height. So its potential energy becomes 7 units and whatever potential energy decrease is converted into kinetic energy which is 3 units. The conservation of energy principle also forms the backbone of 
डाइट इंडस्ट्री ए पर्सन हु हैज ग्रेटर एनर्जी इनपुट फूड द एनर्जी आउटपुट एक्सरसाइज विल गेन वेट द चेंज इन एनर्जी कंटेंट ऑफ बॉडी और एनी अदर सिस्टम इज इक्वल टू डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एनर्जी इनपुट एंड एनर्जी आउटपुट एंड एनर्जी बैलेंस इक्वेशन इज एक्सप्रेस एज e in minus e out is equal to change in energy so whatever energy input to the person and whatever energy output by person the difference of that energy is your change in energy or stored energy uh, you can they see in this figure conservation of energy principle for human body so so this is a person and he uh, energy input to this person is 5 units and uh, he will do work of 4 unit then it means one unit of energy is stored in the form of body mass the first law of thermodynamics is simply an expression of conservation of energy principle what is first law we will discuss it and it asserts that energy is a thermodynamic property the second law of thermodynamics asserts that energy has quality as well as quantity and actual process occur in direction of decreasing quality of energy for example we will take example of a cup of coffee left on a table eventually cools but a cup of cool coffee in the same room never gets hot by itself you can see in this figure 1.3 you had a hot coffee cup which is at 70 degree celsius while the environment temperature is 20 degree celsius so uh, with the time this cup will cool down it means heat has flown from this hot cup to the environment but the reverse won't happen if you had a uh, suppose 15 degree co hot coffee you can say 15 degree cold coffee cup here and uh, if you have a 20 degree environment so that will happen but uh, if you have a suppose 50 degree hot coffee cup here or 70 degree hot cup here the heat won't flow in the reverse direction it will has some direction uh, that is from high temperature 70 degree celsius to 20 degree celsius but reverse won't happen the high temperature energy of coffee is degraded transferred into less useful form at lower temperature once it is transferred to the surrounding air so one thing uh, to be noted here that uh, this hot coffee cup has uh, 70 degree temperature so it is and uh, whatever the energy it it uh, this cup has at 70 degree celsius is a high grade high quality energy compared to when this cup will cool down to the environment the heat will transfer to 20 degree celsius temperature and whatever heat this environment contain at 20 degree celsius is a low grade energy so this is the difference uh, although energy is conserved but uh, from high temperature heat has flown to the low temperature so it means there is a some degradation of energy that means quality of energy has degraded although quantity of uh, energy is same although uh, the principles of thermodynamics have been in existence since the creation of universe thermodynamics did not emerge as a science until the construction of first successful atmospheric steam engine in england by thomas in 1697 and thomas newcomen in 1712 these engines were very slow and inefficient but they opened the way for development of a new science uh, the first and second laws of thermodynamics emerged simultaneously in 1850 primarily out of uh, works of William Rankine, Erdahl, Clausius, and Lord Kelvin. The term thermodynamics was uh, first used in publication uh, by Lord Kelvin in 1849, and the first book uh, was written in 1859 by William Rankine. It is well known uh, that a substance consists of a large number of particles called molecules. Uh, we know that uh, every substance uh, have uh, some molecular structure. and suppose air or suppose if you take the example of a metal so everything has molecules so it is a combination of number of molecules the properties of substance naturally depend on the behavior of these particles so whatever the property of substance whether it is strength whether it's uh, 
the pressure exerted by gas or whether it's a behavior under high pressure high temperature or during expansion compression uh, the behavior of those particles will depend on the properties of substance so we have to find out what are the properties of substance we have to correlate for example the pressure of a gas in a container is a result of momentum transfer between the molecules and the walls of container so however one does not need to know the behavior of gas we need to discuss the behavior of gas particles to determine the pressure in container it would be sufficient to attach a pressure gauge to the container this macroscopic approach to the study of thermodynamics that does not require a knowledge of behavior of individual particle is called classical thermodynamics so we can measure as we know we can measure pressure of a uh, high pressure gas container with the help of pressure gauge and we can measure the temperature of that container with the help of a thermometer so it provides a direct and easy way to solution of engineering problems we can use this pressure and temperature to solve engineering problems but a more elaborated approach based on average behavior of large group of individual particles is called statical thermodynamics uh, before the study of uh, the thermodynamics we will study what are application area of thermodynamics there are a lot of areas where we will use thermodynamics all activities in nature involve some interaction between energy and matter thus it is hard to imagine an area that does not relate to thermodynamics in some manner therefore developing a good understanding of basic principles of thermodynamics has long been an essential part of engineering education thermodynamics is commonly encountered in many engineering systems and other aspects of life and one does not need to go very far to see some application areas of it in fact one does not need to go anywhere the heart is commonly pumping blood to all parts of human body various energy conversion occur in trillions of body cells and the body heat is generated constantly which is ejected to environment the human comfort is closely tied to the rate of this metabolic heat rejection we try to control this heat transfer rate by adjusting our clothing to environment conditions other application of thermodynamics are right where one lives uh, an ordinary house is in some respects an exhibition hall filled with wonders of thermodynamics uh, you can see in this figure 1.4 we have discussed here about uh, uh, this one application the design of many engineering system such as solar hot water system involves the thermodynamics you can see the design of many engineering systems such as solar hot water system involves thermodynamics so this here solar collector here which will collect the sun rays from the sun and uh, the hot you can see cold water which is coming from outside it will be circulated through this heat exchanger and pump to this uh, solar collector and it will get heated and after heating this water is go to for the shower purpose so this is one of application so many ordinary household uh, utensils and applications are designed in a whole or in a part by using principle of thermodynamics so like electric or gas range uh, heating and air conditioning system refrigerator humidifier pressure cooker water heater shower iron which is press and even the computer and tv on a large scale thermodynamics plays a major part in design and analysis of automotive engines rockets jet engines and conventional or nuclear power plants also conventional means uh, the coal based power plants airplanes uh, the energy efficient home that you may be living in for example is designed on the basis of minimizing heat loss in winter and minimizing heat gain in summer the size location and power input of the fan of your computer is also selected after analysis that involves thermodynamics means the cooling fan which we use in computer so this is up to here is the uh, introduction of thermodynamics uh, like this video uh, subscribe my channel and uh, for any comment you can give into the below section uh, thank you for watching this video